What if I told you there's a compound that has the potential to give you the metabolic benefits of exercise without actually exercising? Well, in today's video, we're diving into the research on SLUPP332, a synthetic compound that potentially has the ability to trick your cells into thinking they're working out. Before we get started, it is important to note that this is an extremely experimental compound with no human literature. So what is SLUPP332? SLU is a synthetic pan-estrogen related receptor agonist peptide that is designed to function as an exercise mimetic. This compound shows promise at an activator of the same pathways that fire up during aerobic exercise, but without you having to step foot in a gym. The compound was developed at St. Louis University School of Medicine, hence the SLU prefix and emerged from decades of research into estrogen-related receptors, which are cellular switches that control energy metabolism and mitochondrial function. What is the mechanism behind SLU? Here's where it gets fascinating. SLU functions like a molecular key that unlocks cellular energy factories. The compound binds to estrogen-related receptors, which act as cellular switches controlling energy metabolism. When activated, these receptors trigger a cascade of genetic programs that mirror what happens during aerobic exercise. The primary mechanism involves ERR alpha-dependent activation of DDIT4, DNA damage inducible transcript 4, which is the most upregulated gene in response to a treatment. Think of DDIT4 as a master conductor orchestrating the cellular orchestra of exercise adaptation. The compound essentially tricks cells into thinking they're exercising by activating PGPC1-alpha, the cellular equivalent of a gym membership that builds more mitochondria. This leads to enhanced mitochondrial biogenesis, increased fatty acid oxidation enzymes, and improved cellular energy production. Now let's take a look at the emerging research. Keep in mind that there are no studies of this peptide on humans. The metabolic effects of SLU are where this compound demonstrates its greatest potential. In a recent study by Billon and colleagues, mice with diet-induced obesity and genetically obese mice were treated with SLU at a dose of 50 milligrams per kilogram given twice daily. In the diet-induced obesity model, 28 days of treatment significantly increased resting energy expenditure and fatty acid burning, shifting metabolism away from carbohydrate use. These effects occurred without any changes in food intake or physical activity. Fat mass gain was reduced nearly tenfold, less than 0.5 grams gained compared to about 5 grams in untreated controls, and total body weight was approximately 12% lower in the treated group by the end of the study. In the genetically obese mice, similar trends were observed. After just 12 days of treatment, both fat mass and liver weight were significantly reduced and energy expenditure increased. Cell U mimicked the metabolic effects typically seen with aerobic exercise such as enhanced fat oxidation and a lower respiratory exchange ratio, but without requiring any actual exercise. The compound also reduced triglyceride buildup in the liver and decreased fat cell size in white fat tissue. While improved glucose tolerance was observed in the diet-induced obesity group, SLU did not improve glucose handling or insulin levels in lean mice fed a normal diet. Overall, the findings support SLU as a potent exercise mimetic with strong potential to treat obesity and metabolic syndrome by enhancing fat metabolism and preventing fat accumulation without requiring lifestyle changes. What about SLU and muscle function? In a separate study on a different cohort of mice, Billon and colleagues found that SLU significantly improved skeletal muscle performance in male mice. After seven days of treatment, mice showed a 70% increase in running time and 45% increase in running distance effects that were fully dependent on estrogen-related receptor alpha. The compound increased type 2, a oxidative muscle fibers in tibialis anterior and gastrocnemius muscles and enhanced mitochondrial respiration in cultured skeletal muscle cells. Another cohort of mice were treated for two weeks in a similar manner and also demonstrated increased grip strength. SLU also induced rapid expression of genes involved in oxidative metabolism and mitochondrial function. These transcriptional changes closely mirrored those triggered by a single session of aerobic exercise positioning SLU as a compound that mimics key molecular features of endurance training. What about SLU's potential anti-inflammatory mechanism? 
Hagyu 2024 published a theoretical analysis examining SLU's potential anti-inflammatory and antiviral effects. The review suggested that ERR alpha activation could inhibit pro-inflammatory cytokines and provide vascular endothelial protection from oxidative stress. It also proposed that SLU might reduce inflammatory responses through upstream pathway regulation, inhibit ACE2 expression, and reduce SARS-CoV-2 entry points via FNDC5. Additional proposed mechanisms include enhanced mitochondrial biogenesis, potential enhancement of vaccine efficacy, and mitigation of long COVID progression through interferon modulation. What about longevity? Wang et al. conducted a significant aging study using 21-month-old male mice equivalent to elderly humans treated with SLU at 25 milligrams per kilogram per day for eight weeks. The treatment restored mitochondrial respiration rates in kidney and liver tissue, decreased age-associated inflammatory markers, and significantly reduced albuminuria, which is a kidney damage indicator. The researchers also tested SLU on human kidney cells in the lab. They first made the cells inflamed using a mix of harmful signals. Then they added SLU and found that it boosted important genes that help mitochondria work better. This suggests the treatment might help protect human kidney cells from stress and inflammation. The study demonstrated that SLU activated metabolic and cellular repair mechanisms similar to caloric restriction, preserved podocyte numbers in glomeruli, and improved overall metabolic health in aged animals. Can SLU potentially help cardiovascular function in animals? Another research group published a major cardiovascular study in circulation using adult male mice with heart failure. SLU treatment for six weeks significantly improved ejection fraction and stroke volume, ameliorated cardiac fibrosis, and increased survival rates in pressure overload-induced heart failure. The study demonstrated substantial normalization of fatty acid and lipid metabolites, increased mitochondrial oxidative capacity, and enhanced fatty acid utilization in cardiac tissue. ERR gamma was identified as the main mediator of cardioprotection through enhanced fatty acid metabolism and mitochondrial function. What about liver function? Billon demonstrated significant hepatic benefits in obese mice. Um, the treatment significantly reduced hepatic steatosis, fatty liver in both diet-induced and genetically obese models, decreased liver weight, and improved liver triglyceride levels without adverse effects on liver enzymes. Here's where we need to pump the brakes. All available safety data comes from animal studies only. Bilon et al. reported no severe adverse effects during 28-day treatment periods in mice with no significant changes in liver enzymes, cardiac function, or pancreatic function. The compound did not cause cardiac hypertrophy, unlike some other exercise mimetics, and preserved normal appetite, body temperature, and behavior. However, the study noted decreased HDL cholesterol levels in some animals, which may not be optimal for cardiovascular health. The critical limitation is that no human clinical trials have been published in peer-reviewed journals. The longest animal study duration was only 28 days, providing no long-term toxicity data. SLU remains a research compound only with no FDA approval or regulatory submissions. The compound cannot legally be marketed or used therapeutically in humans outside of supervised clinical trials. If you're someone that's been trialing different supplements and you're still lacking that energy, spark, drive, and overall vitality, then you may wanna check out my brand new supplement that I've just released called Katwa Pure. Katwa Pure harnesses the power of a particular Amazonian herb known as Katwaba bark, which has been used for centuries to boost mood, enhance energy levels, and act as an aphrodisiac. So definitely check out Katwa Pure. You can learn more by visiting inbeforesups.com. Despite the peptide having no human studies, some people have managed to get their hands on it. So let's take a look at what they said. Obviously, there is no guarantee these individuals even were taking legitimate SLU. So do take these accounts with a grain of salt. Reddit users Doldo says, I just want to start by saying I'm not a doctor. I'm only sharing this because I genuinely want to help others with narcolepsy who might be in the same struggle I've been in for years. I've been experimenting with peptides and research compounds for a while now, mostly to manage inflammation, energy, and muscle building, which are all so much harder 
with narcolepsy. Recently, I started taking a compound called SLU orally in tablet form, and for the first time since developing narcolepsy type 1 six years ago, I haven't had a single sleep attack. With SLU, it's like I'm functioning like a normal person again. I can drive more than 15 minutes. I can eat infinitely without crashing. I can work out and or take a super hot shower without needing a three hour nap. I get tired like a regular person, not like I'm collapsing into a coma. I've been completely off caffeine, modafinil and all meds this past week just to see what SLU can do on its own and it's been insane. Another user noted, hey everyone, as promised, here's my second update after two weeks of using SLU. If you missed my earlier updates, I started on a daily dose of two drops three times per day and bumped it up to three drops per dose this past week, totaling 1800 micrograms daily. Here's where I stand now. Progress stats, weight down to 88.2 kilograms, started at 91 kilograms. Body fat estimated at 18.5%. VO2 max now at 45, improved from 43 at the start. Endurance, my endurance keeps climbing. My sparring sessions and long runs are getting better. Side effects, still no negative side effects to report aside from the night sweating, manageable, but I'd love to hear if anyone else has experienced this or has tips. So to summarize, if you're dealing with metabolic dysfunction, cardiovascular issues, or aging related decline, your best bet right now is still the tried and true methods. Proper nutrition, regular exercise, quality sleep, stress management, and talking with your doctor. But keep an eye on compounds like SLU. They represent the future of metabolic medicine. Have you heard of exercise memetics before? What do you think about the potential of compounds like this? Uh, drop your thoughts in the comments below. That's all from me today, guys. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next video.